Detroit ranks 10th in the nation when it comes to dog attacks on mail carriers with 35 happening in just the past year. And today the Postal Service and an expert teamed up to get an important message to both dog owners and mail carriers that could prevent these attacks from happening. Sean lays live tonight and Sean, uh, obviously given those stats, it, this is a real problem. Oh, we've seen it uh, around Metro Detroit before. You're right, guys. This was really interesting training here. Also, it was very intense for these letter carriers. Almost all of them said either dogs have come after them or dogs have attacked them in their careers. And also, there was a very direct uh, message today through with two dog owners. You hear that, homeowners? They can be on your property without your permission. That means if you get bit by a dog, you can hold them accountable for it. A high energy practice session aimed at letter carriers learning skills on how to get a dog on the attack off of them. And every carrier has had a terrifying encounter. As I put the mail in the box, the dog charged right through the screen door. I ended up jumping off the porch. He was lunch and I got my arm and he did a rip. It was a Rottweiler, I had to go to the hospital. And a lot of what you're seeing is geared toward you, the dog owner, to make sure your dog is secure in the home. If your dog is outside, it must be safely restrained. Track your packages and secure your dog knowing a package is coming. Why? Because if your dog attacks, you are liable for medical expenses, repayment of lost work hours, replacement of the uniform, just to name a few. The USPS and pro dog trainer Hector Hernandez led this learning session for letter carriers on doing anything they can not to get bitten and also for homeowners to do everything they can never to let their dog go after someone. If any of you have ever had an encounter with with a dog attack, it can be very traumatic uh, both mentally and physically. Sometimes these letter carriers become PTSD with dogs. I mean, they're hypersensitive to where a dog is. And that, that reflects on their, on their character. It's going to reflect on their mentally. So we, you try to minimize that by managing and controlling your dog. Here's a couple of things that came up with that. You know, like a driveway gate, they would say, the letter carriers say they often feel see a gate that is not secured properly. Or this one, front door open, screen door closed. They have had dogs come straight through that screen door. They're asking people to make sure their gates are secure. And around the time, they know that the letter carrier is coming down the street to shut the front door or secure the dog. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local 4, back to you. Yeah, not just the attacks, the close calls, all leaving them very scarred. Yeah. All right, Sean, thanks.